Hey. Hey. I like your beer. What? God, that was an incredibly stupid thing to say. Did you just say you like my beer? I, um, yes. That's a very attractive Heineken. That looks good on you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it's Kevin. <laughs> Look. <clears throat> I'm Kevin? Right. Kevin. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that, um, I really don't feel like talking to anyone tonight, yeah? Oh, well, that's fair. <clears throat> so that was my one chance with you and I just blew it, right? Excuse me? Yeah, I compliment your beer. <laughs> For some reason I can't fathom and that's that. <sighs> look, look, look. <clears throat> Is it my body? What? Is my body this major turnoff or my hair? No, of course not. Look, you're a perfectly nice looking guy. Uh, not my side, not my type as it turns out, but you know, perfectly nice looking. Mm. Huh. Well, uh, anyway, good talking with you, yeah? So let me get this straight. Even though I don't disgust you outright, <laughs> And I don't disgust you, do I? No, you don't disgust me. Even so, you wouldn't take my hand. What are you talking about? I offered you my hand to introduce myself, and you wouldn't take it? Or give me your name, even. Okay, look, you're reading way too much into this. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. See, what I think is that on the inside, you think I'm this leper person who's not even worthy of being touched. And that's just righteously shitty, okay? It's a handshake. A handshake. For the love of fuck, what kind of superior asswipe do you think you are? Oh my god, no, 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 look. <clears throat> I apologize. I, I didn't mean to insult you. I really just want to... <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> take it easy, man. It's Kevin. Kevin Carpenter from college. I'm just screwing with you, buddy. <laughs> Kevin Carpenter? <clears throat> Uh, from history class. <laughs> uh, Euro European history or... Um, yeah, exactly, um, European history class. I, I just saw you from across the bar just now. And I said to myself, isn't that Daniel DeMonaco from college in a gay bar? I haven't seen him in years. I know what, I'll go over and mess with his head. <laughs> and so you did. <laughs> Boy, did I. <laughs> right. Um... So, Kevin. So, Daniel. Uh, so, Buttons. <laughs> Look, I hope I didn't uh, freak your shit out too severely or anything. No, no, no. That's, um... Wow. You know, I gotta be honest here. I don't... I don't remember you at all. You don't? I'm sorry. No, 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 that's, that's cool. It's not like we were ever really friends or anything. Oh, we weren't? Not at all. Um, well, uh, were we acquaintances even? Ooh, not that I recall. <clears throat> oh, um, <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, it, it was a full, it was a full class. And an enormous school. <laughs> right. Right. Well, uh, anyway... It's good to finally meet you, after all these years. After all these years. Ah, right. <laughs> you know, you know, this is actually very cool because the whole time I was in college, I, I was fully convinced that, that I was the only gay person in that class. Uh, you may well have been. I'm hmm. straight. W what? 100% hetero. But this is a gay bar. I know that. So what are you doing here? I don't know. I just wanted a drink. I was walking along the street, wanting a drink, and I saw this place. And hey, I enjoy an old Golden Girls episode as much as the next guy. Problemo? Nope. Hey, gay people are A-OK -okay by Kevin Carpenter. 
Yeah, uh huh. Don't worry, I won't tell your your friends that uh, I saw you, your little secret. What secret? That I saw you here. <laughs> yeah, that's not a... Wait, what, what old friends? And your old pals from college, Daniel's old buds. What? No, back then I didn't have... <clears throat> I don't have to... <clears throat> Exactly who who are these friends? You know. No. <laughs> Remind me, please. Well, like uh, Mary, uh, Bill. Um... Uh, no, 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 Kevin, no, I, I don't know anyone by those names. And you know what? Our college was hardly enormous. Uh, you know, come to think of it, I, I didn't take European history. No, I took American history. Uh, so I think, I, I think, I think you must confuse me for another person. I, I think you got the wrong guy here. Yeah, no, gotcha. I'm not. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Score two for two for the cabinator. I totally had you going there, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> All the way. Wait, so you didn't go to my college? Negatory. I never even seen you before tonight, but but you were buying it, the whole thing, right up until the Bill and Mary part. Look, Kevin, why don't you just leave me alone, huh? I said I didn't want to talk to anyone tonight, and you know what? I don't even know why you're doing this to me. So let's just say good night, huh? I hear you. Uh, Friday night. Wait, how did you know my name? <laughs> ah, I knew you were going to say that. I almost said it right along with you, I swear to God. Hey, how the fuck did you know my name? Huh? Take it easy, Paco. Someone left their ATM card at the cash machine next door with their name imprinted on it. I called out to you on the street, but you didn't hear me. That's why I followed you in here. I didn't want to drink. I don't give a flying flapjack about the Golden Girls. I was being Kevin Good Guy. Got it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, that was very nice of you. You bet it was. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Damn right about that. Hey, let me buy you a drink. No, Kevin, please. Come on. Look, I really just want to finish this one and go home, huh? Oh, come on. I mean, besides, if anyone should be buying drinks on here. What are you night, drinking? Uh, Heineken? Yeah, okay, fine, sure. Yeah, I bet you always drink Heineken. I bet you've been drinking Heineken for years. Yeah, I have. Well, prepare to break some new ground, my friend, because tonight you are drinking a Smirnoff. Uh, no, no, actually, um, I, I, I prefer a Heineken, please. Voila! Smirnoff it is. Wait a minute. Did you just... Did you just actually... Did you just bring your own... It's uh -huh. nay on the Udgeman, Jay. Whoa, what Udgeman, Jay? I'll have you know I bought that from the bartender legit before I walked over here. Uh, I knew. You knew what? I knew I could convince you to drink it. When I walked in here, you were buying your beer at the bar, and I saw how you took your change from the bartender and filed it away methodically in your wallet, making sure all the bills faced in the same direction in descending denomination. And I said to myself, that guy, Daniel Demonico from the ATM machine is knee deep in some major shit, and he really needs my help. Hey, I don't always do that with my money. And then I looked at you, actually studied you for the first time, and I thought, not only does that guy have his his pocket change underway, too much control. I'll bet he always drinks Heineken. Every single time he goes out, he's in a rut. I'm going to do my, my best to help him out of it. 
I am going to make him switch drinks. Even if it's just a smearing off, it's a baby step. But there you go. So I bought that knowing I could convince you to drink it. Hey, no, I'm not in a rut. <laughs> sure you are. Hey, you know nothing about me. Please, you're here every Thursday. Oh, wait, how did you know that? Um, I'll bet. I'll bet is all I meant. You just seem like that kind of a guy. If it's Thursday night, it's Daniel here at this bar. Am I right or am I crazy? <sighs> no, you're right. And, and why is that, Daniel? Is your life so empty that you feel you have to fill it with these meaningless little rituals? No, 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 no. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, Golden Girls Night here on Thursday. Uh-huh. Um, and if you don't mind my asking, what did you have for lunch today? I'm, I'm sorry? Lunch. Uh, Thursday. What did you nosh on? Um, turkey and wheat toast. Hmm. Uh, and yesterday? Same thing. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to extrapolate. It's turkey on wheat toast every day, isn't it? I bet it is. It's turkey, isn't it? You have been deeply committed to turkey on wheat toast for about a year, I'm guessing. Um, <clears throat> actually, it's uh, it's it's been a couple of years uh, ever since I I found out how <laughs> how fanning tuna salad was. But 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 this means nothing. This means plenty, Daniel. It speaks volumes about you. Where do you stand on the subway platform every morning? Anywhere? Or always in the same exact spot because you know where the train doors will open? Hey, just because you bought me a drink does not entitle you to grill me like this, huh? Grill? Grilling? Mm. Do you see a cattle prod in my hand? Am I anywhere near your nipples? I am merely observing and asking. Observing and asking, that's all I'm doing. Ah, well, then I guess I'm leaving. And, and what's with this type thing? What is that all about? What type thing? Well, apparently I'm not your type, or, or so you say. <laughs> You're not even gay. That's not the point. Oh. What is your type? Uh, I'm not telling you. Why not? Because it's none of your business. I bet I can guess it. Nope, no you can't. It's Latin, guys. Um, <laughs> why, 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 why would you say that? It's Latin, guys, isn't it? Isn't it? I bet it is. It's Latin, guys, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, yes, I'm into Lander. So what? So, so what? what? So what? I, I'll tell you. So what? Mr. Daniel DeMonico from the ATM machine. So what is that you're losing out on a world of possibilities and experiences that have absolutely nothing to do with Heineken beer or turkey on wheat toast or uh, B. Arthur, Betty White, Rue McClanahan and Estelle Getty. <laughs> really? I, I don't mean to get up on a soapbox here or into mm. your shrink's chair, but I feel it is my duty as a disinterested third party who just did you a good deed, so maybe my two cents is worth more than a dime, to say <laughs> that you are severely limiting yourself in many aspects Am of your personal life. Am I? Very much so, in my opinion. Uh, well... <laughs> In my defense, I like to point out that I happen to like my life exactly as I mean. I, I like knowing what's going on. But just how boring is that? No, it's comforting. <laughs> ha! The fuck was that? Well, that was probably the last thing you thought I was going to say. What? 
after you said it's comforting, of all the responses you thought that might elicit, I'm guessing, ha, never even made the short list? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You expect the expected. Loosen up, Dan. Oh, no, no, it's Daniel Kemp. <laughs> all right, fine, Daniel. Take what happened with us tonight, for example. And let's forget about my wife, Vivica, and our mm. daughter, Amber, and Helene, our little finch bird. Let's talk theoretically. Theoretically. A guy walks up to you into a bar, me. Now, you know absolutely nothing about this stranger standing next to you. This stranger holds the possibility of, I don't know, a one-night stand that registers on the Richter scale. Mm. Or a one-night stand that's totally pathetic, but that evolves into a friendship with marathon phone calls and hilarious emails. And I'm not talking about forwarded jokes. Or, or this stranger next to you could be the man you're supposed to spend the rest of your life with. The man you've been waiting to meet ever since you had a crush on your <laughs> fifth grade math teacher. Oh, well, wait a minute. I didn't know I was in your high school. Eh, yeah, but... Think about it. You mm. probably had uh, crushes, I'm guessing. Uh, well, there was misplaced crushlets. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so this stranger turns to you, me. Mm. I do that. And I say, hey. And you say, hey. But that's where it stops in your mind because my name probably isn't Hernando. Kevin. That's no way to go through life, my friend. With blinders on. Choices made. Uh, Fat-free meals pre-selected months before the flight. <laughs> I used to be exactly like you. Stuck in my ways at an early age, knowing exactly what my life would hold. But look at me now. Here I am on a Thursday night in a gay bar. And I can tell you this. When I woke up this morning... I never imagined for a second that I'd end up here. I'm sure that's true. But, um, oh, oof, um, I've got to get going. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, <coughs> it's, uh, it's Amber's birthday today. Huh? Yeah, she's turned four. In about half an hour, she's going to get her first Barbie doll. Really? Uh, <laughs> well, you know what? Tell her happy birthday for me. Will do. You have a good night, Daniel Delmonico. It was cool sharing a drink with you. Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> May I ask you just one more little question? Sure. It's an ego thing. It's fine. And, and again, we're in theory land. Mm -hmm. It's just that um, now that we've talked a little, now that you've gotten to know me, would you give a card-carrying Caucasian like me a, a chance? You would, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? I bet you would. You would, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? <laughs> 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 you know, you're, you're driving me totally insane. Well, see, now I think that's a perfectly healthy place to start. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you are kind of, you are sort of charming in this totally psychotic kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what the hell? Why not? <laughs> 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 Score three for three for the Kevinator. <laughs> no. No, 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 Whoosh! no. Fucking way, Kevin no. Kevin doesn't choke on the big one. Wait, wait a minute. So you're actually... Wait, are, are you saying you're really... Yep, yep, full on gay. Totally queer. Great big bucket of Nell. <laughs> no, I don't believe this shit. I knew you were coming along. I could tell. Just... Get away from me, huh? Just leave me alone forever, stunning right now. What are you talking about? We got a date to go on, cowboy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no! No, we do not! 
After all that work? Do you know how difficult that was? Thinking on my feet like that? I totally forgot Amber's name there for a good 30 seconds. There is no way in hell I'm ever going on a date with you, Kevin, if that is even your real name. It's actually Hernando, which is pretty ironic. Mm. That was a joke. You see? <laughs> That's why. This is my point exactly. That's why I won't go out with you. <laughs> no, aside from the fact that you are a complete freak and that's high, high on my list of reasons why I won't go out with you, um, there's just this, this, this little problem of me having no idea who you really are or what you might pull. Oh, come on. Come on? C come on what? You know, we could go to some restaurant and then you... I don't know, you tell me that you're really a woman. Yeah. Or, no, you're really Vietnamese. Oh, <laughs> even better, you are a Vietnamese woman, yeah? <laughs> or, you know what? I can take you home. And then you try to rob me. And this whole thing turned out to be some extended con. It's not a con. You caught me the same I go out with you. I, I, I did not. Yes, you did. You lied to me repeatedly. I didn't lie. All right, do you, do you want to know who I really am? I, I'm a guy who's been coming to this bar on Thursdays for months. And a few weeks ago, I, I noticed you and I thought you were certifiably cute. But you never even looked at me. You looked right through me. And fine, I, I, I'm nothing special, I know that. But I saw you making gay eyes at Latin guys that were far, far less nothing special than I am. And, and that pissed me off, frankly. And then when I find your ATM card at the cash machine, I, I thought I was being given a chance. And I just wanted you to see me for a few minutes, for one conversation. Oh, and you couldn't tell me, hi, I found your ATM card. Sure, but how unoriginal would that have been? And, and I didn't lie to you. For the record, I surprised you. I kept you guessing. And for a while there, near the end, you found me pretty intriguing. I could tell you were dancing right alongside of me. And I still happen to think you're certifiably cute. Hey, look. Just stop making all this shit up, huh? I won't make up any more shit. I promise. You know, never making Gregor Smirnoff in public again. I won't. I mean, beyond that, I just... I don't know what I'm supposed to say to you. How about we just, um, let's just, uh, hey. Hey, I'm Daniel.